Hey guys, this is Techspec Reviews here on a review of the OnLive Micro Console. So before I get into the review, I'd like to thank OnLive for sending me this out totally free of charge. The console works via a service called Cloud Gaming, which is where all the game data is stored on the OnLive servers. So the games are streamed to the console, so you don't have to insert discs or anything. As the games are streamed to your console, you don't have to wait for them to download when you have purchased it. So when you purchase it, a game, the game is straight onto the console or whatever other device you are on. And also a good thing about the online system is the marketplace, which is where you get the games from. As well as allowing you to buy a full play pass, it also allows you to buy a free or five day pass play pass which is where you pay so much to play the game for three days or five days but not all games have this um, play pass also on some games you can get a free 30 minute trial to see whether you like the game or not the online service is also available on pcs macs tablets and some android smartphones and when you purchase a game on the let's say the console it is also available on any other device the online service is available on. So I could buy it on the console and play it on the PC as well as the console. So when you get the system you will need to create an account so you can play the games which is free just like PlayStation Network is. So the system does have a wide range of games on its marketplace but not as many as the PlayStation 3 or Xbox but it does have some popular titles like Assassin's Creed and Saints Row 3 and also some others. And it also has a lot of older type games like what you probably play from quite a while back. So in the box you will get the online console, the controller and underneath them in some boxes you will find a power supply cable, Ethernet, HDMI and USB charger cables. Also a rechargeable battery pack and a normal battery pack and some batteries which are all for the controller. The console is known as a micro console as it is so small compared to a PlayStation 3 or Xbox it is tiny. The console is just a bit bigger than an iPod Touch so that will give you a good size. On the back of the console you have all the ports such for all the power supply, the HDMI and the Ethernet cable. And on the front of the console you have two USB ports which are for as well as charging the controller are also available so you can plug a USB keyboard in or a mouse in to play the games and in, sen in the center of the ports you have an on button which has an LED indicator on so whether you've got the device on or off unfortunately the online micro console doesn't have a wireless internet connection so you do have to use an Ethernet cable but it's not that bad a problem as it does speed up the streaming from the, the servers to the console. On top of the console it has a gloss finish so it will pick up the smallest fingerprint so it can get quite dirty depending on how much you touch it but they can just be wiped off. And on the underside of the con console you have four rubberized feet to stop it from sliding on whichever surface you put it on. So let's move on to the controller. The controller looks like an Xbox 360 controller but has the button layout of a PS3 and when you hold it in your hands it also feels like a PS3 controller as well. The controller has two analogue sticks towards the centre like a PlayStation 3 controller and on the left side you have the D-pad and on the right you have the X, Y, A, B buttons again like an Xbox controller. And in the centre you have a dashboard button and on either side you will have a start and select button. And on the top of the controller you have an RB, RT button on the right hand side and an LB and LT button again like a 360 controller. On the back of the controller is where you insert the battery packs. So you get a choice of battery packs as you can either put a rechargeable battery pack in so you can charge up through the console to the controller or you can use the battery pack which runs on AA batteries. Along the bottom of the controller you have some multimedia buttons which include a play pause button, a forward, a fast forward button sorry, a rewind button, a function button and also a record button which is 
for making the brag clips which is where it captures the last 10 seconds of your game's play so you can show or brag about it to other people so overall the, the console is a great thing i was actually impressed with the graphics as i didn't think they would be as good as it is streamed but they are excellent the games on there are great and overall the device is excellent there are no flaws in this console whatsoever and it is a great product i give this like a 10 out of 10 as it is excellent and small i just wouldn't know how they could design a great console and make it so small so go over to OnLive to check this out as it is only about 70 pounds i don't know how much that is in us dollars so thank you for watching this was my review of the OnLive console and once again, I'd like to thank OnLive for sending me the chat totally free of charge to review.